Hello and welcome back everyone to another YouTube video. In today's video I will explain and solve problem set 1 math interpreter. So uh, today we want to implement a program that prompts the user for an arithmetic expression and then calculates and outputs the result as a floating point value. So in order to take our values we will make like uh, a different syntax if I may say so let's actually uh, make our three variables x y and z and x will hold the first number okay let's add an example here just to explain so if the user inputs this arithmetic equation we want the x to be we, we want the number or the first number which is 2 in this case to be assigned to x we want to uh, assign the operation which is addition in this example to y and uh, third, uh, the second uh, number which is 3 uh, assigned to z so in order to do this uh, we will actually use a method called split but let's first take the input from the user and let's type this message here so yeah let's actually print x and y and z just to show you what will be different when we use the split method okay let's run our program let's type 2 plus 3 so as you can see we have a value error here which uh, when the message is too many values to unpack so in order to do for this to work we will actually add the split method okay yeah, i'm actually missing the parameter here so uh, we have to add a parameter which is going to be just space because that's what we're going to split uh, our string according to okay let's uh, re let's uh, add our example again so 2 plus 3 so now when we use our split method here uh, it will return three values it will actually depend on our string but in this case uh, it will return three values because that's the first thing that will be splitted because there is a space here and this is the second thing that will be splitted because there is a space here and the three will just be returned because that's what is left from the string so uh, two will be assigned to x and so on so let's actually try again let's uh, use the same example so now as you can see uh, we now unpacked our uh, string so yeah that was the idea of the split method and why we are using it so yeah let's uh, move forward so now we will actually use uh, if conditions uh, because we need to check uh, the uh, we need to check for the the operation because it will uh, the answer will different will be uh, always different according to the operation. So, for example, uh, let's make uh, first the addition. So let's use if condition. Let's see if y is equals to uh, the plus sign the addition sign and if that's the case we want to print x plus z let's actually uh, run the program again and see if that will work so let's use 2 plus 3 this should out with 5 and that's 23 that's another problem we have here because what i did is is adding two strings uh, like this so we have a string here this is x in our case 
and I that's what I did 2 plus 3 and since these are two strings it will just um, add to each other like uh, not like numbers so what we need to do now is to convert them to integers just by doing that so this should also work not also <laughs> it, it didn't work at first so this should now work let's use 2 plus 3 and now it's 5 because now we are dealing with integers not strings okay but uh, if you can see if you notice that's not really looking good let's actually make a variable and let's uh, call it solution and let's make it hold uh, the solution so let's move this from here to here and let's print the solution and actually uh, we will use float this time because the problem uh, mentioned that we need to print the answer as a floating point value so let's try again 2 plus 3 and that's 5.0 so that's correct that's what we w we need to see now we will do the same for every operation so else if uh, y is equals to let's make the subtraction now and we will just copy this and paste it here okay I didn't copy uh, but this will be actually the minus sign and it will be actually the same for the rest so here we will do the multiplication and here we will do the division so as you can see it's uh, pretty much uh, it's pretty simple so yeah I think now it's ready uh, I think the whole idea of this problem is to use the split method because here we are just using simple syntax uh, if conditions nothing new here maybe uh, converting or string to float so yeah I think uh, yeah that was the idea is to use the split method and it's actually really powerful uh, you need to learn about it and uh, you have to like use it a lot of times to to kind of uh, be comfortable using it so yeah let's run again yeah we tested for addition let's now test for subtraction okay that's one and that's correct let's test multiplication nice and let's test the division so yeah that's great um, the solutions are correct we are printing out the result as a floating point but let's actually make our program um, nice if <laughs> that's the word here so actually you can make things pretty uh, simpler by just removing the print, the print statement from every uh, block here so now that's actually the same we have the solution variable it will hold the result and at the end of our program we want to print the solution so it doesn't matter if it's coming from the addition block or the subtraction uh, it the solution will always have a value so let's uh, just print it at the end no need to add it in each block uh, in our code here so let's try again let's try the multiplication and yeah it's uh, it works just fine so yeah let's now use check 50 
and make sure we are not uh, messing up on anything here so yeah awesome uh, we passed every test so yeah that was today's video thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and see you next time